this, this is going to be a fun one. <laughs> Today we are talking about a brand that I have absolutely been loving, not only this year, but in the previous years. They just build quality gear, and that is Tracksmith. I've been very fortunate. Tracksmith have sent me new clothes from their latest line for the spring, and it's been absolutely fire. I've been loving absolutely every piece that they sent me. And I can't always say that. There's always one piece where I'm like, I like it, I just don't love it. But this newest line that they are dropping, new colorways, new pieces honestly just blew me out of the water and honestly the first piece probably my favorite piece is their mid-weight track house hoodie this thing is just fantastic honestly it fits extremely well i went with my normal size it fits a medium fits my body really well the pocket right here i thought was really cool it has an, an internal pocket that you could put an iphone in there and it doesn't bounce around when i'm walking this hoodie right here has been my go-to before the run and post run. I just paced somebody out for a hundred mile race. And once I was done my pacing, I threw this on and I instantly felt comfortable. I actually slept with this, it's still a little bit smelly from it, but honestly, it just does the job. For a hoodie, not only does it fit great for before the run, after the run, I love it because I can also rock it when I'm into the streets. The next item up is the session shorts. Now session shorts have been around and honestly the session shorts, the five inchers are probably my favorite road running shorts. Um, but this new colorway, I took this out of the bag when they sent it to me and instantly my eyes caught it. I've been loving running in these shorts, not only because how nice the materials and how great they feel, but I love this colorway. This just makes me want to be, it makes me happy. I know that sounds really dumb, but sometimes seeing bright colors like this coming out of the winter into the spring, these shorts just make me feel happy. When I throw these on for recovery runs, tempo runs, you know, endurance runs, really I put it all through the gauntlet. I just love looking down and seeing them on. Honestly, the liner is just really nice. I think Tracksmith honestly has one of the nicer liners. This was a small, and I'm really glad I got a small. Uh, my biggest complaint about this short is the back pocket. It works really great to put gel, salt tabs, your keys, but I can't fit an iPhone in it, and that kind of sucks. I wish this was a little bit bigger so I could fit my phone in, because as you all know, I love carrying my phone. That's really my only minor complaint about the short, because honestly, the color hits the mark, the sizing of the shorts, they fit perfect right where I want them to be. A five incher that fits perfect is money. The next item up, I think has been around for a while, but is absolutely new to me, and that is the Session Long Sleeve. Uh, I've been pairing this a lot with the Session Shorts, and it just works really nice. We are finally getting warm here in Pennsylvania. Not too warm, so we still have a little bit chillier in mornings, and this works out really nicely. Uh, this is one of their lighter long sleeves that I have. I have a merino wool one, which I really love, but this is just a little bit lighter and it's a little perforated. It has these little perforated holes. So it is nice for these spring runs because I start out and it's pretty chilly, but by the time I'm done and the sun starts coming up, it does start to heat up. So having it perforated fits really well. I actually have been using this a lot, not only on the roads, but the trails. I, surprisingly, this fits perfectly for the trails and it works really nicely with a pack. I got no chafing here at all. And as you can see, really no damage to the shirt. So that's huge to me. When I can wear a shirt, not only for the roads, but also the trails, that's fantastic. But honestly, I went with the medium for this one. And this definitely fits more relaxed fit, which I really like. When I'm running, I don't always want things skin tight. And this shirt just works out really nice. So again, new to me, not new to Tracksmith, but the Session Long Sleeve is probably one of my new favorite long sleeves because it is heating up right now. We are just cruising along. I mentioned I really love the Merino hair, uh, long sleeve from Tracksmith. Well, now I got the short sleeve version of it. And honestly, at first I was like, well, Merino wool, really, really only for the colder temperatures. Why? You know, I know when it gets, I use it a lot, the long sleeves, but I probably don't need a short sleeves. Well, I was wrong because I definitely needed this in my life. 
it fits really well. I, one thing I love about the Harrier uh, line is that it doesn't fit too tight. There are some uh, pieces from Tracksmith that fits a little bit tighter. Not this one. It just fits my body really well. This is a medium, and again, I'm so happy I want the medium. This just fits really well. I love the Harrier, not only because of how it can control your body temp and keep the warmth in when you need to, but it also can handle my sweat really well. This shirt, I get really sweaty. It's starting to become spring. It's hot. I've been using this shirt a lot for tempo runs, and it's been answering the bell every time. I just love how it fits my body, and when I am pushing that pace, getting down to the 610s, 620s, it just really responds really well. I've also used this out on the trails as well. I've been putting a pack on it, and all the shirts that I've worn with Tracksmith, no, no uh, damage right here. And if you know, if you've been out on the trails and you've been using a lot of packs, you know this is the spot that does get a lot of damage. It starts ripping the shirt a little bit. No issues there and no chafing. So honestly, this is these a lot of the pieces I'm talking about today are meant for the roads. But dang, if you love roads and trail running, you are definitely in for a treat. So again, this is one of those shirts that I love the colorway. It definitely pops with spring, but it just handles the run. And it's something I think is a four season shirt. I think you can go spring, summer, fall, and winter with this one. Maybe not by itself in winter, but it definitely does the job as a base layer. Honestly, this one is definitely a winner. The next up are two tights. One is a half tight and one is a full tight. It's the Alston tights. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Honestly, they're one's half tight and one's a long tight, but they're a little bit different. I'm gonna go with the half tight first because honestly, I'm living in these. I, it's really funny. When I first started running, I told myself, well, I'm never wearing a half tights, but now I'm wearing them a lot. And I've been wearing these a lot for my tempo runs. It just feels great. The, the leggings just, they, they, they work. And they added this little material right here so it doesn't ride up. And that is huge. I've tried other two or half tights and there's no bad feeling that when it starts riding up and it looks like you're all of a sudden wearing like a little bikini. No, this just, you put it on and it sat perfectly. Unlike the session shorts, you have a back pocket here and this fit an iPhone, and that was awesome. So I had my iPhone here, and then you have a pocket here on the side, and a pocket here on the side. And I was able to get two gels in each one. I wish they were slightly bigger, because when I am running a marathon, you're gonna have a little bit more than that, at least for me personally. And I do think these could be one that I run a marathon in, because they just responded really well. The, the compression, the reason why I like a half tight is it helps my muscles when I am exploding. So when I am dropping it in the 610, the 620s, I want a shorts that fits really good and I forget that I'm running in it. And honestly, I forgot that I was rocking these. Similar to the session shorts, it does have a liner and hands down, one of my favorite liners. It just fits comfortable. I got no bunching and I just felt really good. Now this was the half tights. Now these are the full tights, and you would think they would be the same, but they're not. They're slightly different. The design, very similar, has that little stripe across. This one's blue, that one's black. But the foam pocket, there's no back pocket here. And that was a little bit of a bummer, because I like putting the pocket right there. It has a foam pocket here, but unfortunately, similar to the session one, I really couldn't get my phone in there and sit nice and comfortable in it. Uh, I guess I could keep fidgeting with it, but I felt like I was going to rip this. And that is the only pocket, honestly, for these uh, full tights, which is a little disappointing. I loved running in them because they fit really well for the colder months. Uh, it still was cold when I got these, so I was rocking these a lot in the morning when my legs need a little extra warmth. And warmth-wise, these are perfect. Honestly, they fit great. I got a small in both of these, and I'm so happy I did. The, the, again, the liner, similar to the half tight, really nice. As a guy, you want a liner that causes no chafing, no bunching, and this is that liner. It works really nicely. Uh, I just wish they had a back pocket on this one, because if they had a back pocket on it, it probably would be one of my, hands down, my favorite full tight. Now, both of these ones, I have a complaint on both of them, and it's a minor one. And it's probably just me, because I haven't heard a lot of people complain about it. I wish there was a drawstring for both of them. 
One thing I do wish, they don't fall down, but I just feel a little bit more secure if I had that drawstring. Um, it would make it that next level to me. Not an issue, but just something I wanted to point out. So again, I got the full tight and the half tight, and honestly, both are going to continue to be in my rotation, especially the half tight now that it's getting a little bit warm. So there you have it. Those are the fantastic pieces that Tracksmith sent me. And honestly, I've been putting these through the ringer. I'm training for a ultra marathon, so I am getting the distance in. And all of these pieces will have well over at least 70 to 100 miles in them, especially these tights. Every tempo run or long run I've been in, pretty much have been in these ones for the weeks leading up to it. And the session shirt, again, same thing. I just am constantly reaching for the Tracksmith uh, gear. Honestly, it performs well. It can take a beating. It can take a beating, and that's important to me. And also, the other really great thing about all of this gear, it washes really well. So no shrinking, uh, the smell, not lingering. Um, it's just, it, again, Tracksmith just produces really nice gear. The quality is there. Because I know a lot of people are going, but the price, what the price? Yes, you're going to pay a little bit. But in the long run, you're going to save because these pieces are going to last four or five years because I've had a lot of things that last from Tracksmith five plus years. And honestly, they still look really good. I just kind of got tired and I wanted a different color. That's the only reason why I moved on from some pieces. So thanks for watching out this, for this latest review. I really appreciate it. And until next time, see you out on the run.